It's Thursday, everyone, and you know what that means. Time for some new Zebra Breaks action here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope everyone had a good, safe Memorial Day weekend. So you're seeing me on the screen as a rarity here to kick off the video this week because we are going to start with the stadium experience from FC Cincinnati and the New England Revolution last Saturday at the brand new TQL Stadium in Cincinnati. And it was a fantastic experience. Uh, FC Cincinnati loses 1-0 on a really shoddy uh, push call that turned into a free kick that allowed New England to score in about the 60th minute. Uh, I've seen harder pushes in the Premier League that haven't been called. It was a really, really crappy foul call right in front of us, actually, in the supporters section. So uh, I've got some video already queued up here for... Uh, a little bit of the march that we had. Um, I'm in one of the supporter groups, uh, the Pride. Uh, I've been with them for this my third season as a member of the Pride. Uh, started watching in their last season at USL before they moved to MLS. So the march from our pregame or pre-match to the stadium. And then a little bit of the opening just to kind of give you a feel for what it was like. It was only a reduced capacity. Um, Ohio is not opening up full capacity until... Uh, I think sometime this week or next week. So the next home match uh, in mid-June will have full capacity. So I intend to go back when there is full capacity for it. So the uh, the seats that I had, uh, as you can see here, I'll throw it up a picture up here while I'm talking. Fourth row, off the pitch, in the supporters section. Um, thanks to my buddy Matt for the hookup on the, uh, the seat in the supporters section. And it was just a raucous experience. It was so loud, especially uh, when... Uh, when FC Cincinnati was attacking in the end that we were at uh, in the first half instead of the second half, it was just so loud in there. The, the experience was great, even with the reduced capacity. Uh, could not have enjoyed it any better. Even in the 1-0 loss, New England Revolution is the best team in the Eastern Conference. So to go 1-0 against them, a lot of positives to take away from it. Uh, if anyone that follows MLS knows, FC Cincinnati is not in the uh, top part of the table. Hasn't been since they came to MLS. They are a work in progress, absolutely. So here we go. Take a look at this, a little bit of the march, a little bit of the open. And then when we come back, we will be opening some 2021 MLS Tops Blasters to just feature that along with the video here this week. So here we go, guys. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> go guys hope you enjoyed the little uh videos of my experience fc cincinnati against the new england revolution from tql stadium 
once again, as I said in the open, such a great time. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys got a little taste of what it was like to be there, with the, especially with the new stadium. And this brings us here to part two of the video this week. We are going to open some 2021 MLS blasters, actually three of them in the spirit of MLS with FC Cincinnati this week. So let's do this and I'll pull this one just right under there for right now. Let me go over and give you a little background on the set. So 2021 MLS, 175 card set uh, with a 25 card pitch prodigy set. Uh, there's a hobby only orange to 25. From a parallel standpoint, you're looking blue to 99, gold to 50, the orange hobby to 25, obviously we won't see that. Red to 10, black 101. Uh, there is an image variation, one of one. And then the pitch prodigy, which is 181 to 200, is the orange to 25 hobby exclusive. Red to 10, black one to one. Inserts uh, showcases 1981 tops, along with there is a team spirit. Uh, and then we have auto relics with this. We most likely will not see those. So once again, for me, being an FC Cincinnati person, I'm looking to pull at, you know, anybody I can from FC Cincinnati, Harris Madunian. Uh, let's we'll see here, Joe Jow from FC Cincinnati, Jurgen Locadia uh, from FC Cincinnati. Obviously, there's going to be the FC Cincinnati team card that goes along with it to boot. And you're going to have your stables, Brandon Vasquez of FC Cincinnati as well, along with Yuya Kubo. Uh, from FC Cincinnati, but you're going to have your big guys, your Chikoritos, uh, along with your other top players. Team cards as well with this, and then you're going to have, once again, your pitch prodigies uh, from uh, FC Cincinnati. He's a part of that, uh, uh, Franco Kovacek, and then what's basically defined as his rookie card, and then uh, a Barrial. Uh, from FC Cincinnati he was the major signing uh, from Sao Paulo from Brazil in the offseason that pretty much shattered the uh, um, shattered the transfer fee record in uh, MLS to get him so it will be his rookie card in this as well so hope for the best we'll see without any further ado guys let me grab my knife and let's get ripping here we'll go one at a time so the blaster box you can see here, this does have the foil board. Yes, the fine four exclusive foil parallels inside as part of this. And I'll pull this off to kind of show it off once we pull the plastic off on this here. So it is seven cards with one extra pack, six cards per pack. So eight packs in total to go with this. These were actually hard to find. But that's that goes with anything retail related nowadays. Unfortunately, everything is hard to find. So, all right. So if you want to look here, we flip over. There we go. You got Nami. You got Gonzalo Ingwin. You got Diego Rossi and Barco from Atlanta United FC as the cover guys this year. There's all your parallel odds. And if you want to pause this, no purchase necessary. Try to send something in and win some free cards. So, all right. Let's get ripping here. Not going to waste any kind of time here. We're just going to go. Especially with the number of cards with it. There's not a lot to go with this. But you never know all things considered. So and is this, are we going to have a problem opening these? Nope. There's a little, there's a little split on them. Perfect. All right. All right. Gianluca Busio from Sporting KC. We've got, let's see here, Bradley Wright Phillips, the forward from Los Angeles. There we go. There's one of our foil parallels here, and that is going to be Ricardo Pepe, pitch prodigies from FC Dallas. And then we got Christian Torres, rookie card from LAFC. Then we got, see here, Cole Bassett, the 22 under 22 from the Colorado Rapids, and same thing for Sam Vines, the 22 under 22 from the Colorado Rapids as well, in a base form. So that does for number one. Right. Go to pack two here. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do a big rip here. 
and we're just gonna rip all these at the same time just because the time it'll take to rip versus the time to go for six cards is ridiculous so do I have nope never-ending struggle without fingernails unfortunately Thankfully, Tops has given you a little bit of a corner to try to be able to, a uh, little bit of a corner to be able to open these. So yeah, not if you guys saw any of my 2020 MLS video I did, um, actually, oh, wait a minute, no, 2020 MLS, I did a video, but it ended up being corrupt, and I couldn't post it. So I had a, that, I did a hobby box on that because I was able to find it. It was relics uh, in both, no autos. And I did pull a uh, Harris Medunian from FC Cincinnati. I did pull a relic of his, actually. Uh, so that kind of tickled me, uh, tickled me and make me happy for pulling uh, something Cincinnati related when that's the reason, at least at that point, why I, why I bought the hobby box. So works for me. All right. And one more. And we'll have box one done. We'll have the entire box opened here because we're just killing time. All right, here we go. All right. Let's see here, Jonathan Osorio from Toronto. Yeah. Josie Altadore from Toronto. We have a Flags Foundation. So Joseph Martinez from Atlanta United. We've got Caden Clark, rookie from the New York Red Bulls Pitch Prodigies, and that is a parallel. Um, that is a numbered parallel, numbered to 50. This isn't hobby. This isn't hobby. We got a 50, an orange to 50 on the non-hobby product. Okay. Top screwed up on this, I guess. So, Caden Clark. Caden Clark, rookie from the New York Red Bulls, 50 parallel. Carter Pepe, FC Dallas. Here. We got Privlico from, ooh, what is that? Yep, the Philadelphia Union. Paxton Pomikov from FC Dallas. Fabian Erbers from Chicago Fire FC. And here's the 81 tops inserts we were talking about. Bill Hammond from DC United. So in the 81, the love of the 1981 top set. Sporting KC team card. Real Salt Lake team card. Toronto FC team card. Okay. Ryan Hollingshed from FC Dallas midfielder. Jan Garros, the midfielder. And that is from, hmm, I think it's Minnesota. Yep, Minnesota United. Uh, if I can pick it up from Minnesota United. Let's see here. Japalo from the Seattle Sounders. We've got another foil parallel here, another foil board. Franco Chara from FC Dallas. Got another pitch perfect. Gabriel Slania from Chicago Fire. Efren Alvarez, 2222 from the LA Galaxy, and Herber, the forward from NYCFC in New York. All right, second stash here. Mauricio Pereira from Orlando City. Got another pitch perfect foil board. George Campbell from the Atlanta United. See here, Jesus Ferreira, the 2222 from FC Dallas. Paxton Palmiol. 2222 from FC Dallas. Got another rookie here, or Urid, rookie pitch prodigies from the New York City. I'm sorry, not New York City, from the New York Red Bulls. There is a difference. There is a difference. Ezekiel Barco from Atlanta United. He is a he's one of the top names in MLS. Here, Pedro Santos, the midfielder from Columbus Crew, the defend the defending MLS champions. Bill Hammond from DC United and another, here we go. Flags of Foundation, and that is Japan for Yuya Kubo from FC Cincinnati. Yuya Kubo from FC Cincinnati. You know, I'm looking for anything FC Cincinnati related. DC United, LAFC, Edison Flores from DC United. And here we go, our base of Yuya Kubo from FC Cincinnati. Here we go, Team Spirit, Efren Alvarez from the LA Galaxy. One of the inserts we had talked about. Pitch Perfect, Tavon Gray from NYCFC. Teal Burnberry from the New England Revolution. 
Himichara from, this is going to be um, uh, Portland. Yeah, Portland. Yep, the Portland Timbers. I don't know why I got hung up on that. So here we go. A.O. Akinola, the rookie card from Toronto. And then we got Alejandro Bedoya from the Philadelphia Union. Maxi Morales from NYCFC. Got another foil board, Tanner Tessman, the midfielder from FC Dallas. And here we go, Tanner Tessman's 22 under 22. And Kevin Paredes, Pitch Prodigies, DC United to round out box number one. We move on. Number two. Go. All right. Two. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do a big mass rip here and just get all these done. So two FC Cincinnati cards. That's that's a hobby orange. There's Brandon Vasquez from FC Cincinnati. We'll have him in later on. Um, okay. Hobby orange to 50 um, in a blaster box. So, okay. I'm, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm not, uh, I mean... It, it's literally said it's hobby specific hobby specific we're doing a hobby specific and in a blaster box which is retail i mean am i crazy here people am i crazy in thinking that this is what it is having no fingernails is an absolute detriment for some for these foil packs whoa Oils. It's ridiculous. But mass ripping is going to work out long better in the long run in terms of length of video. And I don't want to make this. You guys sitting here for minutes and minutes and minutes on end in between every pack. So we're just going to open them up and mass rip them for this week. So while we're here, guys, uh, 50 views. 50 views gets us the giveaway for cards from this video. And then next week, we'll just do a little preview. Next week on the video, Tops Series 2 Baseball. We're going back to baseball. And Top Series 2 is out on the 9th. So that's on Wednesday. And on Thursday, we'll have it here on the channel. So within 24 hours, we will be up and running with Tops Series 2 next week. Still waiting to see what the checklist is going to be, unfortunately. But we'll see. All right. Charles Gill, New England. Got a foil board. Daryl Dyke from Orlando City. Chicago Fire, team card. Alexander Ring from NYCFC. Here, Ramel Kido, the midfielder. And he is, what team is that? And that is from Montreal. Montreal, FC Cincinnati beat Montreal actually last week. They're playing down in... Um, for Lauderdale because of COVID still, because of the restrictions. Julianne Gressel from DC United. Got a Montreal team card in a foil board. George Campbell pitch perfect. We've already seen him. Houston Dynamo FC team card. New York Red Bulls team card. You get all the team cards, I guess, already. Or not all of them. Let's see here. Darlington Navy from Columbus Crew. Jonathan Dos Santos from the LA Galaxy. Christian Espinoza from the Quakes. We got another foil board of Minnesota United team card. 2222 under 22, Sam Vines. Tanner Tessman, 2222. We've seen those already. Gonzalo Higuan from Inter Miami. Uh, if I saw this right, Inter Miami, if I read this right this morning, um, so I'm shooting this on Wednesday. This is coming out on Thursday. So Wednesday morning, it looks like there's a new deal that was made between Barcelona and Messi. And from the looks of it, Messi's going to play two years in MLS for Inter Miami. If that is the case, that is going to be a huge draw to MLS to have Messi playing here in the United States for two seasons. So if he does play, I'll, I'll make it a point to go out and hopefully maybe if they uh, Inter Miami goes to Cincinnati, I'll check him out there. But to see Messi live here in the United States, I think will be a huge thing. But he does two seasons and then goes back and finishes his contract at Barcelona. So that's going to be interesting to keep an eye on. So and speak of, here we go, our striker, Jurgen Locadia from Cincinnati. We got another Flags of Foundation for Edison Flores from the DC United. Heber from NYCFC. 
There we go. Christian Torres, rookie, pitch prodigies. LAFC. Can't go wrong with that. Cole Bassett, 2222. Sebastian Leger Sebastian from LA Galaxy. Here you go. Chris Wondolowski from San Jose. An 81. Omar Gonzalez from Toronto. Lewis Morgan, the midfielder from Inter Miami. Seattle Sounders team card. Here we go. Andres Perea, Orlando City rookie. We are hitting some nice rookies today on the pitch. Perfect. It's not going to lie. We'll bring him down here. So we are hitting some very, very nice rookies here. All right. Lucas Salarian from uh, Columbus. And Miles Robinson from Atlanta United. Last stack here. Jackson Yo from San Jose. Brian Rodriguez from LAFC. Aaron Long from the New York Red Bulls. Got another Flags of Foundation. Andre Blake from, that is going to be the Philadelphia Union. Mason Toy, Pitch Prodigies from Montreal. And Ricardo Pepe, Pitch Prodigies from FC Dallas. Albert Rusnak from Real Salt Lake. Nicholas Lodiero from the Seattle Sounders. Looking at these at an angle, trying to read names is, is difficult. <laughs> so, Corey Baird, a forward from Real Salt Lake Team Spirit. Minnesota United, 22 under 22. And that is Zachary Abrault Guillard. And that should be from Montreal. Yep, Montreal. Brian Rodriguez, 22 under 22 from LAFC. There we go, Brandon Vasquez. From Cincinnati. Efren Alvarez from the LA Galaxy. Nemo Rodriguez from the Houston Dynamo. Foil board of Stefan Free, the minder for Seattle. Got Kiri Shelton from that is Sporting KC. And a Montreal team card, Club de Foot Montreal in French. No, French is not. They Everything they still have in Montreal is French. You know, they are being dual languaged. But yeah, they're in Toronto's playing uh, uh, in Florida as well. I know Toronto is supposed to be playing Cincinnati here in a few weeks. And they still have not made a determination as to whether that's going to be. It's supposed to be a road game. But I think that's going to depend on what's going on. It may end up being a home game for Cincinnati. Just because of the situation with Toronto and Montreal not being able to play in their home stadiums. But that hopefully should be coming to an end sooner rather than later, I think, obviously, as things get better. I know Canada is still having a little bit of a, an issue with uh, just resurgence of the coronavirus. Um, but I know it's affecting everything, including, uh, including hockey. I know there's an agreement, or at least the uh, NHL and uh, the U.S. and the Canadian governments are trying to come to an agreement to get the, uh, the winners of the um, uh, winners of the North into the United States to play the rest of the Stanley Cup playoffs. You'd think they would have thought thought a little farther ahead on that because to be real honest with you, like if they're going to if they're going to set the season up on the assumption that the Canadian teams can get over the border and back without the Canadian government stamping off on it. I mean, that's a little I mean, I get putting them all together worked for worked for them, but it it but if you can't guarantee that they're going to get over the border, I mean, you've got some huge problems now in terms of what you're going to do with, uh, um, in terms of what you're going to do with those with those teams because they should have equal right to win the Stanley Cup, but you didn't want to bring them into the United States for the entire season. So we'll see how that shakes out from a hockey end of things. But I think uh, I think MLS uh, obviously took the more prudent route of putting both Toronto and Montreal in the United States as much as they would love to be playing in their home stadiums. But hopefully that gets, uh, uh, my gut tells me the first chance they can to get those guys back into their home stadiums in Toronto at BMO and then in Montreal, uh, they will. Um, I've seen Toronto Stadium, just I've been driving as I've been in Toronto for wrestling. It's a beautiful little stadium there right on uh, right on Lake Ontario, actually, in, in the heart of downtown uh downtown um, Toronto so all right last box here and we will wrap it up for this week Sebastian Leggett from LA Galaxy 
All right, Chris Wondolowski from San Jose. We got a foil board of Yimmy Chara from Portland. We got Andres Pereira, another Pitch Perfect rookie, and another Christian Torres rookie. All right, we'll take the rookies. Cole Bassett, 2222. We've seen a lot of these. Uh, let's see here. Lucas Salarian from Columbus Crew. Miles Robinson from Atlanta. Let's see here. Charles Gill from New England. Flags of, sorry, Flags of Foundation, Andre Blake, we've already seen. Lewis Morgan, Inter Miami. Seattle Sounders. Let's see here. Ramo Quito from Montreal. Julian Gressel from the DC United. An 81, Robert Barrick. New York Red Bulls team card, fire team card. Alexander Ring from NYCFC, the midfielder. Jackson Yule from San Jose. Brian Rodriguez from LAFC. Aaron Long from the New York Red Bulls. We got a foil board. Nicholas Ladero from Seattle Sounders. We got another pitch prodigies, George Campbell from Atlanta. Houston Dynamo. And here we go, another Brandon Vasquez base from FC Cincinnati and an Efren Alvarez from the LA Galaxy. Last stack here. Mimo Rodriguez from the Houston Dynamo. There we go, Carlos Vela. Flags of Foundation, Carlos Vela from LAFC. Big name. Minnesota United. Zachary Baltgiard, 2222. Albert Rusnak from Real Salt Lake. Nicholas Ladero from Sounders. We got Teal Burnberry in a foil board from the New England Revolution. Brian Rodriguez, 2222 from LAFC. Mason Toy, uh, pitch perfect. And Ricardo Pepe, pitch perfect. We got Blaze Matuti. I'm oh, sorry, Matuti. Matuidi, yeah, Blaze Matuidi from Inter Miami. Mark Anthony K from LAFC. Kyle Duncan from the New York Red Bulls. Got an Albert Rusnak, Real Salt Lake foil board. Vancouver Whitecaps team card, Daryl Dyke, 2222 from Orlando City. Dave Romney from Nashville FC. It's the first Nashville card we've seen so far. Nashville in their second season in MLS. Um, they're Nashville. I still don't like them anyway. A Yamil Assad from DC United. Here we got Jordi Mihalovic from the midfielder from uh, Chicago. Andres Reyes from Inter Miami. Thierry Shelton from Sporting KC and Montreal team card again to round out the third blaster box. So got some Cincinnati cards. Kubo, Lacadia. Got the Kubo Flags of Our Foundation, Vasquez. Got a Carlos Vela insert, one of the top guys in MLS for Flags of Foundation. And some rookies with Caden Clark, Christian Torres, and Andres Pereira in the Pitch Prodigy rookie card. Something to hold on to for those who want to hold on to rookies. So that'll do it this week, guys, for 2021 Tops MLS. Uh, if I can find a hobby box, I may end up getting a hobby box just to hold on to. But let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite MLS team is if you follow MLS. Let me know what you think about Messi coming over to Inter Miami potentially for a couple of seasons. Um, just let me know what you think, guys. And this will do it for this week. Next Thursday, noon Eastern, 2020 Tops Series 2. Going back to baseball, and we're going to 2020 Series 2. Hopefully, we'll have a checklist before release day. But we'll see. Looking forward to it. Flagship release. Hopefully we'll see. And then I will announce what breaks I'm going to do with 2020 Series 2 as well. So that'll do it, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you next Thursday noon Eastern, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. What are you waiting for? And we'll see you next Thursday noon Eastern. Round and third and heading for home. See you next week, everybody.